Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG, and we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson from Collision Advice, and today I've got with me my good friend Bud Center from iCar. So Bud, thanks for joining us. No, well, you glad know, to be here. One of the things that I get questions and emails a lot um, from shops around the country is, Mike, um, what are your thoughts or what can you tell me in regards to installing a recycled quarter panel, right? And the first thing I tell them is that the OM repair procedures should dictate everything that we do, right? Not my opinion, the OM repair procedures. So first of all, what you need to do is go into the OM repair procedures. And number one is look and see what the OEM says in regards to what type of weld you need to use. And ask yourself, could that be duplicated if I put a recycled quarter panel on? All right, the second thing you wanna ask them is maybe what size of weld? Can I duplicate the same size of weld if I use a recycled quarter panel, right? The third is, where will I need to place my welds? You see a lot of OEMs, and I'm not saying all, but a lot of your OEMs will say, look, you can't weld in the same spot. It needs to be in a different spot. Well, that's unavoidable if you're using a recycled quarter panel. So the OEM repair procedures, in my mind, will absolutely give you the factual information you need to be able to intelligently discuss and be well equipped and informed in regards to the utilization of recycled quarter panels, right? Now, in regards to Mike Anderson Collision Advice's position, I just wouldn't use a recycled quarter panel. I don't think it's the same type of repair, but that's my opinions. Now, at the end of the day, another great resource for collision repairers to educate themselves in regards to pros or cons of using a recycled quarter panel I will tell you, iCar has a great resource. And that was, Bud, I think iCar came out with, um, and again, I don't wanna use the word a position statement, but kind of like a best practice in regards to recycled quarter panels, especially with him flange quarter panels. Would that be a correct statement? That is correct. Yeah, okay, so it, for, first of all, can you tell us what that document is and also lastly, where we can find it at? Sure. So a couple of things I wanna say here. Um, we're right there with you with follow OEM procedures. Always follow the OEM procedures uh, as far as that whether or not to use a, a recycled quarter panel, it's a business decision. But we do have a best practice that is on the ICAR website that references hem flange quarter panels. So quarter panels that are, are hem flange. So just uh, for people that are, are watching that may not know what hem flange is, that means that the quarter panel is, installs at the outer wheelhouse area, similar to like a door skin would, where it right. kind of wraps around something exactly. like that. Would that be it's, an exactly. accurate? Okay. Exactly. So the, the best practice that's listed on the ICAR website is an industry vetted best practice. Mm -hmm. It's not ICAR people sitting in a lab in the, in the Appleton Tech Center and creating a best practice. It's getting all segments of the industry together to talk about replacing a quarter panel, uh, an LKQ or a salvage uh, quarter panel with a hem flange. And that's what that position statement or, or best practice, I should say, is all about. Um, to locate that, you go to the iCar website and there's a tab that talks about industry best practices, as I believe what it says, or iCar best practices okay. on that tab. The other piece that I wanted to, uh, to share is that iCar has started to track and document vehicles that are equipped with, uh, a, hem panel, awesome. with a hem flange. And to find that, you can go into the partial part replacement section on the RTS website. And when you get to that quarter panel or side panel, it'll actually tell you if it's a, a vehicle with a hem flange quarter panel. Oh, so that's great insight. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, if you're an estimator or repair planner, you know, or a technician, and you're just trying to get educated in regards to, you know, more about why maybe recycled quarter panels might not be a good option, um, especially in regards to this hem flange situation. Remember, iCar has a great resource on that for best practice. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope you got it out of value out of today's tip. Bud, we really appreciate you and hope we uh, get to do another segment with you too. Can't wait. Take care, everybody. Make it a great day.